Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Pacini Field, home of the Franklin High School Panthers, and tonight your very own Brockton Boxers come to town for the second round of the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action for BCA Sports in this MIAA South Sectional Tournament game. Brockton wearing their away black uniforms with the red trim, Franklin wearing their white uniforms with the blue trim. Franklin coming off a bye, seated second in this tournament with a record of 14-0-3 going undefeated during the regular season. And Brockton stands quite the test tonight, coming off a 3-2 overtime win against Braintree at home. And Jen Caruso with the overtime winner, the dynamic scoring forward of this Brockton Boxers team. Franklin with the turnover, they've got an opportunity in the box, the shot. Off the fingertips of Tori Viola, it's loose in the box, and Viola able to pick it up. A good test for the freshman goaltender of the Brockton box, and she comes up big here in the first minute of this game. Her kick goes about 45 yards out to the midfield area. Narita Montron for the Brockton boxes. It's taken away by Franklin and kicked back the other way. Liz Buckley steps up. Franklin throwing on the far sideline. Liz Buckley heads it out of bounds. It'll be a Franklin throwing about 15 yards deeper into Brockton territory. Tori Viola picks it up and she will send it long. Viola is very strong against Braintree, making a number of very, very nice saves. But the real story of that game was Brockton's defensive line consisting of Ariana Almeida and Liz Buckley able to stop the majority of chances on Viola and keeping the Brockton boxers in this is now Franklin going the other way has some opportunity and Liz Buckley able to clear it out of bounds. Very nice crowd here at Piscini Field for the Franklin Panthers. Viola sends it long, looking for number 14, Megan Anderson. Now to read a Montron. Montron looking up for Caruso, and it's going to be intercepted by number 11 of the Panthers. That is Nicole Ellen. All the way back to the goaltender, Megan Adams. Good throw by Tiana Brooks. Gets it up to Ariana Sylvia. Sylvia also had a, a goal in that game against Braintree. Almeida clears it up and out of bounds at the Franklin 40 yard line of the football markings. Very Cool night here down in Franklin. It's about 50 degrees and dropping clear, no wind. Excellent soccer conditions. Uh, Brockton has always played well in good weather. As Yasmini Texera tries to chase it down on the far sideline, but it goes out of bounds. A number of Brockton players coming back in that first round game against Braytree from injuries, including Texera and Almeida and Sylvia. Ball goes out of bounds, uh, off the head of Franklin's player, still in bounds, Narita Montron couldn't find it. And now it's sent out of bounds by Franklin. It'll be a goal kick for the Brockton Boxers. About five minutes into the first half of action between the Franklin Panthers and your Brockton Boxers. In the second round of the MIAA South Sectional Tournament.
Keanu Brooks with a very short kick, only about 25 yards. Almeida's taken down, but Franklin comes away with it, no whistle. Franklin has it on the far side on the crossing attempt. Goes all the way through the crease. Nobody home on the other end for Franklin, and Tiana Brooks will clear it out. Now out of bounds off of Narita Montrand, and Franklin will have a throw in. It's going to be sent in by number 10. That is Lindsay Mustage. Mustage to throw. Good heel turn, but it's going to be kicked back out by Liz Buckley. Now Almeida, the one-time shot is going to go all the way through, but far on the left side of Tori Viola. And it'll be a goal kick for the Brockton Boxers. Franklin with good offensive pressure thus far in this game. Brockton with no real sustained pressure in the first couple of minutes. Another short kick by Tiana Brooks, and Franklin looking to come up with an opportunity. It's going to be cleared out by Brooks. Good defensive awareness when Megan Del Pico, uh, Maria Del Pico rather, missteps it. Now Franklin in the box. The shot is going to go high to the right. Franklin pouring on the offensive chances early in this game. And Brockton escaping scoreless so far. But Franklin is definitely threatening right now. Very, very short kick by Tiana Brooks. Looking for Jen Caruso. Caruso was injured herself. She comes away with the ball. Jen Caruso carving up the middle of the field. It goes to Narita Montrand and bounces back to the Franklin defender and ultimately goes out of bounds off of Yasmina Texera. Topico tries to step up, unsuccessful. Franklin will take over. Franklin working the short passing game in the triangle. Now Ariana Almeida pops it up for Montron. Intercepted by Franklin, but Montron makes a nice step to get it up to Michaela Robinson before Franklin takes it back. Yasmina Texera crashes into number five for Franklin. Sends it long looking for Robinson or Caruso. Caruso makes a nice step and it's loose in the box. Takes a weird bounce. Caruso still has it and a whistle, and it's gonna be a free kick for the Franklin Panthers. Jen Caruso is frustrated to say the least at that whistle, and she took down a defender, or so the refs thought, and it'll be a free kick from about the one yard line. Brockton with their first real chance of the game, right there, still scoreless. Sariana Sylvia battles for the ball, and it's gonna be a Pull called on Sylvia. Franklin will have a free kick from midfield. The kick is up, the kick is long, the kick is caught by Viola. She's down and she falls on it. Franklin swarming around the freshman goaltender for the Brockton Boxers who bobbled the initial shot and was able to pounce on the rebound. Brockton escaping by the skin of their teeth right there. Head coach Admir De Silva screaming for a handball against Franklin. He's not gonna get a whistle. It'll be a Brockton throw in. Out of bounds off of Brockton. Franklin will have a throw. And they get it into Brockton territory. Kicked out by Tiana Brooks. Franklin with the quick inbounds. Cleared out by Liz Buckley. Yasmini Texera makes a nice step to get that ball out of immediate danger. And Del Pico takes one off the shins and gets it out of bounds. It'll be a Franklin throwing, but Brockton able to stand up to Franklin defensively. Now number five for the Panthers, looking for the cross. Doesn't connect, but Franklin able to come away with it. Number 16 gets pulled a little bit and it's gonna be a free kick. I'm surprised the referee did not whistle an advantage play and had Franklin play on. 
This is going to be a dangerous kick for the Franklin Panthers. They have a free kick from the 25-yard line. This could easily end up in the back of the net. Tori Viola expecting a direct kick. The referee explaining to Edmir De Silva what the call was. Here's the kick. Long kick, direct on net. Bounces into the hands of Tori Viola. Another save for the freshman goaltender. Viola's kick goes to Megan Del Pico. Rita Montron playing midfield at the moment. It's going to be kicked out of bounds by, uh, kicked up by Elizabeth Buckley. Now Franklin on sides, taking it down into the corner. It's going to go out of bounds and be a goal kick. Franklin, if they could gain possession and hold that ball, they would have had a very nice offensive opportunity. Nothing coming of it. Tiana Brooks to take the goal kick for the Brockton Boxers. About 10 minutes into the first half. Still scoreless here from Franklin High School in this second round game between the Franklin Panthers and your Brockton Boxers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports. Franklin coming away with an opportunity. Number 15 with the shot. Wide to the left. The cross was tipped by one of the Franklin forwards and it went just wide of the left post. Brockton escaping again and they've got to stop this Franklin offensive attack before they find themselves down by a couple of goals. We're going to have a substitution. Ariana Almeida being substituted out for number 16. That is Mackenzie O'Reilly. So Brockton looking to get more of an offensive spark. Shifting a back midfielder for a forward. Still scoreless here due to the efforts of Tori Viola. Franklin threatening, having all the pressure. It's headed by Tiana Brooks who's run into. The ball goes to Narita Montrand who is able to clear it looking for Caruso. Caruso pulled no whistle. And Franklin clears it back the other way across midfield. Caruso over to Sylvia. Sylvia looking for Montrand unsuccessful. Out of bounds off of Franklin. Brockton will have a throw in. Goes back the other way. Out of bounds off of Brockton. Franklin slowly but surely moving it up the Brockton sideline. Very good crowd on hand here for the tournament and Tori Viola is gonna pick this one up before Franklin's forward can get to it. Number 15 creating the pressure. That is Bailey Noose. Good ball sent up, but Texera is going to look to chase this one down before it can be turned into an opportunity. And good awareness by Liz Buckley to have a throw in as opposed to a corner kick. Now, one time shot. Into the box. Excellent jumping save by Tori Viola before the Franklin Panther could get a head on it. Again, that was Noose creating the offensive pressure. Now Narita Montron in the middle of the field. Up for Del Pico. Del Pico stops. Makes a nice move. Gets it up to Montron who tries to find Crusoe unsuccessful. Franklin sends it back the other way. Tiana Brooks now fighting in the middle of the field. Franklin comes away with it. 
Franklin's going to kick it out beyond the goal line, so it'll be a goal kick. Brockton escaping another offensive opportunity by the Franklin Panthers there. The story of this game is going to be Tori Viola, the freshman goaltender for the Brockton Boxers, playing in only her second playoff game and really excelling with the added pressure of the playoffs. Tory Brooks, another very short kick. Franklin coming away with it, trying to turn an offensive opportunity. Brockton's players double teamed on the far sideline and Franklin's gonna force it out of bounds. Number two for the Panthers as Taylor Cogliano. Excellent move, the shot. That's a goal for Franklin. Franklin scores off the throw in, able to get around a defender. I believe that was Cogliano on the goal. And just able to get it past the diving Tori Viola. That's a one goal lead for Franklin pretty early in this game. Just over 15 minutes into this first half, Franklin finds themselves with a one to nothing lead. Was scored by number two, Taylor Cogliano. Indeed, number two, Taylor Cogliano on the goal for Franklin, putting the Panthers up one to nothing over the Brockton Boxers. Liz Buckley tries to clear it across midfield. Narita Montron looking to send Jen Crusoe in on a run. Crusoe's got it and she kicks it right off of the shins of the goaltender, Megan Adams. First real shot of the game. Now Jen Crusoe, unable to handle the pass, get, tries to get it to Del Pico and it's going to be a Franklin throw. And Jen Crusoe trying to spark some offense into this Brockton Boxers team. Franklin clears it back across midfield. Tiana Brooks up to Sylvia. Sylvia looking for O'Reilly, doesn't connect, and it's going to go out of bounds off of Brockton. About 18 minutes into the first half here, one to nothing lead in favor of the Franklin Panthers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports. Push called against Brockton. Jen Caruso looking to intercept some of the short passes from Franklin. Liz Buckley clears it out of bounds. Not necessarily the smartest thing to do. She had plenty of room to turn with it and try to spark Jen Caruso. Tiana Brooks stops it in the middle of the field. Franklin comes away with it. The header goes the wrong way for Franklin. And out of bounds. Off the Brockton Boxers who will make a substitution. This is Megan Anderson entering the game for the Brockton Boxers. Anderson who scored one of Brockton's three goals in their first round matchup against Braintree. Has very good speed when she wants to have very good speed. Ariana Sylvia tries to clear it up to midfield. Intercepted by number 24, the Panthers. That is Lauren Rudolph. Brooks pops it looking for Buckley. 
Franklin with another opportunity, the shot and another goal for the Franklin Panthers. Cogliano again able to step around a defender that was Tiana Brooks and pop it in the net behind a sprawling Tori Viola. Brockton's gonna call a timeout right here and stop the bleeding. And Brockton is going to do just that. A complete defensive breakdown thus far in this game for the Brockton Boxers. Tori Viola doing her best, but she can't do it all. The goal for Franklin was scored by number two, Taylor Cogliano. And Taylor Cogliano finds herself with two goals and looking for more in Franklin's first playoff game of this year. Franklin, of course, winning the Division I title last year. Brockton getting knocked out in the first round to Bishop Feehan. Brockton looking to stop the bleeding here, 20 minutes into the first half. Down two goals to none to the second seeded Franklin Panthers off of two goals by Taylor Cogliano in defensive breakdowns for the Brockton Boxers. That is gonna be the story of this game. Look for Brockton to replace Tiana Brooks who has let in the two goals by committing turnovers and try to solidify the back line. Brockton is going to send four players to man their back line. Shifting is Mina Texera from the front midfielder position all the way to defense. And Ariana Silvia, Narita Montron, Jen Crusoe up front alongside Megan Anderson. Back in action here, Ariana Silvia Looking up for Jen Caruso, doesn't connect, but Narita Montron looking for Jen Caruso. Again unsuccessful, now Ariane Almeida will clear it long. Head coach Admir De Silva in his first season as interim head coach. Andrew Tessinari, of course, going on maternity leave for the duration of this season. Sylvia looking to get around a couple of defenders. She gets it up, Jen Caruso pulls down a Defender, no whistle. And Franklin's gonna send it back the other way. Good step by Franklin, she's dragged down, no whistle. And a little miscommunication by the boxers defensive line and Tori is gonna pick that one up before Franklin can get a foot on it. Franklin trying to get it all the way back up for another offensive opportunity. Ariana Sylvia will take it back. Megan Anderson trying to chase it down. Franklin will come away with a throw to be put in by number 10, Lindsay Mustache. A shot is going to go wide to the right of Viola. Franklin really pouring on the offensive opportunities here in this first half. Already leading two to nothing, looking for more. Ariana Almeida will kick it long for the Brockton Boxers. Very low kick, looking for Sylvia. Now Texera up for Sylvia. Sylvia looking up for Anderson. Anderson, uh, Del Pico rather, couldn't find it. And Franklin comes away with it. And Texera is going to kick it out of bounds. It'll be a Franklin throw-in. Mustache handling the throw-in duties for Franklin. Now Rudolph. Franklin coming away with another opportunity. The cross is going to go behind the net. Another offensive opportunity for the Franklin Panthers. Pretty easily getting behind the Brockton Boxer defense and just sending the shot wide and behind the net. But 
about 15 minutes remaining here in the first half. Franklin leading two to nothing over the Brockton Boxers. Goes out of bounds and Franklin will have yet another throw in. Franklin dominating possession time thus far in this game. Rita Montron pops up looking for Del Pico in the middle of the field. Anderson will try to kick it to herself and Franklin's going to ultimately kick it out of bounds. And it'll be a Brockton throw for the first time in Panther territory. Yasmina Texera to take her first throw in of the game. She looks for Anderson. Anderson has it up to Montron, and Franklin able to clear it out of bounds. It'll be another Brockton throw in. Franklin with a nice step on Narita Montron. That's Cogliano with a nice defensive step, and Tiana Brooks will chase it down at midfield. Back and forth across midfield. Nobody's got clear possession. Del Pico being held, no whistle. Now Sylvia comes away with it for Brockton. Up for Megan Anderson. Anderson looking to spring Caruso, but her pass is gonna be a little offline. Sylvia heads it up for Montrond and Franklin again able to intercept the pass. Brockton bunching around the ball. That's gonna go out of bounds. That's gonna stay in bounds. A very nice play by Franklin to keep it in bounds. Now Ariana Almeida clears it back to midfield as a couple of players for both sides hit the ground. A couple of Franklin substitutions coming into the game. Number 10 making her way to the bench, Lindsay Mustache. Franklin doing a couple of changes on their back line of defense. Almeida's going to chase it down and let it go out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick for Brockton. RN Almeida to take the kick, try to get some juice on it, get it across midfield. It will fall at the 35-yard line and roll across midfield but out of bounds and it'll be a Franklin throw in. Out of bounds off of near to Montrond. Things slowing down here a bit for both teams but Almeida looking up for Caruso. It's going to be kicked out of bounds off of Franklin. Brockton, the deepest possession they've had in this game. And Franklin able to clear it. Brockton trying desperately to keep this ball in Franklin territory. And they're not going to be able to do so. It's going to be kicked out of bounds. Brockton will have a throw in at about the 15-yard line. Del Pico up to Texera. Texera over to Sylvia. Sylvia can't handle it. And it's going to be intercepted by Franklin in the middle of the field. Now Cogliano is going to be whistled off sides. Taylor Cogliano looking for a hat trick. Just one step off sides and it'll be a free kick for Ariana Almeida. Sylvia heads it up to Del Peak, uh, Megan Anderson rather. Anderson across the field, intercepted by the Franklin Panthers. Number seven, Molly Duncan, the freshman defender. Now, 
very weird save by Megan Adams. She dove on it, didn't really have to with Jen Crusoe five feet away, but she did to make it look good and now kicks it up to midfield. About 10 minutes left here in the first half. Megan Anderson playing midfield gets it up to Yasmina Texera who gives it back to Franklin and they clear it up and out of bounds. Two to nothing the score off of a couple of defensive breakdowns for the Brockton Boxers. Taylor Cogliano capitalizing on said breakdowns. And she has, that's an obvious handball from Yasmina Texera. What was going through Texera's mind? Franklin's gonna have a free kick and a quick restart, the shot off the post. Ladies and gentlemen, you talk about a quick restart paying off. If that shot went two inches lower, it would be a three to nothing lead for the Franklin Panthers. And Yasmina Texera is, has got to be fairly relieved that Franklin didn't capitalize on that, committing a very obvious handball deep in Brockton territory. And Franklin very close to coming away with a 3-0 lead. Couple of more platoon substitutions for the Franklin Panthers. Now switching out their forwards. Franklin coach Tom Gason trying to keep the fresh legs out on the field for the Franklin Panthers. Almeida will clear it out of bounds to the Brockton bench. Franklin will have Yet another throw in in Brockton territory. Brockton, the very clear underdogs in this matchup, seeded 15th to Franklin's second. Brockton going 7 6 and 5 during the regular season, Franklin going 14 0 and 3. As Tiana Brooks will be dragged down, it'll be a Brockton free kick. Ariane Almeida sends it long, looking for Caruso, intercepted by the head of one of the Franklin Panthers. Franklin creates a dangerous play. And now Sylvia's trying to send it long for Caruso. Franklin doing a good job of evading the Brockton boxers. Now Narita Montron with an opportunity in the middle of the field. She's gonna get rid of the ball, she's being pressured. Her shot looking for Caruso, Caruso's got it in the box. Her shot picked up by Megan Adams. Jen Caruso had an open shot and just couldn't get any air under the ball. Able to get the first real opportunity for the Brockton boxers and it is Pretty easily saved by the sophomore goaltender, Megan Adams. About 35 minutes into the first half, Franklin leading two to nothing off of goals by Taylor Cogliano. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports from Franklin High School. Del Pico with the step gets it up to Jen Crusoe. Crusoe can't handle it, but Narita Montrond is on the other end. Narita Montrond gets around a defender. She's going to shoot it. And Franklin able to cut off the angle and kick it out of bounds. It stayed inbounds, and Brockton just kicked it over the goal line. It'll be a goal kick for Megan Adams. Oh, 
Adam sends it long. Headed up by Montron, back the other way. Off the foot of Sylvia. Jen Crusoe coming back to play a little bit of midfield. Now Almeida is going to be forced to kick it out of bounds. And Franklin will have a throw in. Number 25 throwing it in for the Franklin Panthers. And we're going to have a whistle on Franklin. Almeida sends it across midfield looking for Caruso. Just a little bit too long and now Megan Anderson trying to chase it down. It's going to be sent back across midfield by Megan Adams. Here we go, Montron in the middle of the field, stops, gets it up to Del Pico. Del Pico looking for Caruso, it's intercepted by Franklin. Brockton's passing game has not been what it usually is tonight. And Franklin looking to create another opportunity as Ariana Almeida tripped up number 14 for the Panthers, and that was Nadia Havens. Very big crowd on hand tonight for Franklin's first playoff game of the year. Brockton's second. Franklin throwing deep in Brockton territory. Rita Montron's looking long for Caruso, doesn't connect. Franklin has it at midfield. Number seven sends it up to, all the way through to Tori Viola. That is Molly Duncan with the shot. Sylvia still has it. Up to Megan Anderson, can't handle the pass. It's gonna go out of bounds off of Brockton. Pass just sent a little bit too long and Franklin will have a throw in. Bailey Noose to send this ball inbounds. All the way up, good heel turn by Tiana Brooks and now Ariana Sylvie creating some space up to Del Pico in the middle of the field. Taken away by the bigger, stronger midfielders of Franklin, but Sylvie gets it back. Sylvie on the sideline, over to, looking for Montra and uh, doesn't connect. And now Del Pico sends it long into the hands of Megan Adams. Less than two minutes remaining in the first half. Two to nothing lead for the Franklin Panthers over the Brockton Boxers off of goals by Taylor Cogliano, the senior forward. And Brockton's defensive breakdowns have been the story of this first half. But Tori Viola only letting in two goals off of many more opportunities. And here's another opportunity for the Franklin Panthers. Almeida stands up the Franklin forward, number 14, Nadia Havens. And now Anderson stops, gets it back to Sylvia, who sends it up to midfield looking for Caruso. Narita Montrand. Now we're going to have a whistle called on. Narita Montrand, it'll be a Franklin free kick from just inside midfield. A short kick over to number 15, she takes it up. Another opportunity coming for the Franklin Panthers. It's gonna roll out of bounds. Just a little bit too long for the Franklin Panthers to create another offensive opportunity. It'll be a goal kick for Brockton. Let 
Almeida sends it long. Now we have a hold called against Franklin, and it'll be a Brockton free kick. Brockton free kick from their own 35 yard line. Almeida all the way up for Jen Caruso. Franklin takes it away. That's been the story of the night. Triple teaming Jen Caruso in the offensive zone. And now Cogliano trying to create something. Brockton's going to be forced to kick it out of bounds. Franklin will have yet another throw in. Not much time remaining here in the first half. Two to nothing to score. The Franklin Panthers lead the Brockton Boxers off of goals by Taylor Cogliano. Out of bounds off of Franklin and now Brockton will send it the other way with not much time remaining. Mina Texero. Back to Almeida, who's going to try to send it long. It's going to go out of bounds. Another missed kick by the Brockton Boxers in what has been the latest of many here in the first half. Sylvia chasing it down for the Brockton Boxers. Out of bounds off of the legs of Cogliano. Now Tiana Brooks with a misstep. And it's going to go out of bounds off of Franklin with probably about 15 seconds remaining here in the first half. Tiana Brooks with the throw in. Intercepted by Franklin. Del Pico up for Jen Caruso. Caruso can't handle the pass and it goes intercepted by Montron but quickly sent back long for the Franklin Panthers. Out of bounds off of the legs of Cogliano. And the whistle sounds to end the first half. A very, very lucky Brockton Boxers team able to escape the half, only letting in two goals by Taylor Cogliano and Tori Viola standing strong in net. The score at the end of the first half, two to nothing in favor of the Franklin Panthers over the Brockton Boxers. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. We will see you for the second half. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome back to the second half of action between your Brockton Boxers and the Franklin Panthers. Franklin entering the second half with a 2-0 lead off of goals by Taylor Cogliano. And Brockton's defensive breakdowns are the story of this game so far. Good ball movement by the Panthers. And Tori Viola staying strong in net for what she's given. Trying to keep Brockton in this game. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Franklin High School here in Franklin, Massachusetts. Piscini Field here on the campus of Franklin High School. Jen Crusoe pretty much held silent in the first half. And that's going to turn into a big issue if Brockton wants to accomplish anything offensively. Ball bouncing back and forth in the corner. Brockton will come away with it. Brockton looking to extend their season in this win or go home. Elimination playoff game, of course, the boys Getting tossed out of the tournament last night at Durfee as Tori Viola picks one up for the Boxers. And the Boxer football team getting knocked out last Friday to BC High, getting shut out at home. Brockton looking to bring home a championship in one of the many fall sports. Sariana Sylvia has it for Brockton. Looking for number 14. Michaela Robinson goes out of bounds, Franklin throwing. 
Uh, number 21 for Franklin. Excellent step by Ariana Almeida. Excellent possession by number 26, who's called for a foul. Almeida was tripped up by her own feet, but the foul is going to be called on number 26, Megan Georges, in what was really an excellent play. Really good footwork, and Amanda will, uh, Ariana Almeida will rather will send it long for the Brockton Boxers off the chest of Michaela Robinson, and out of bounds. Brockton looking to spark some offense here in the second half. Sylvia looking up for Robinson, doesn't connect. Del Pico now has it in the middle of the field. Del Pico up to Sylvia. Sylvia holding. Out of bounds off of Sylvia. Franklin will have a throw in. Now Cogliano taken down from behind by Tiana Brooks. And it'll be a free kick for Franklin at about the 40 yard line. Lauren Rudolph to take the free kick. She sends it in and Del Pico with a nice move to get it back out. Now Jen Caruso has it. Caruso trying to get something going offensively. She's got really nice footwork. She sends it long looking for Robinson. It's going to bounce into the hands of sophomore goaltender Megan Adams, who when tested has been spectacular tonight. Robinson unable to handle it. Goes all the way back to number 17, Lara Andrade, who sends it out of bounds. Now Franklin threatening number 21 with the cross. Franklin has it in the box. She's open the shot. That's going to be another goal for the Franklin Panthers. Franklin pouring it on. A goal by number 21. Goal for Franklin was scored by number two, Taylor Cogliano. A goal credited to Taylor Cogliano for her third of the night, a hat trick for Cogliano. Three to nothing, Franklin early in this second half. And Crusoe's got to do it all herself, it looks like, for the Brockton Boxers tonight. Taking a throw in, which we normally don't see. Now Del Pico in the middle of the field. Ray Del Pico with the shot. That's going to go wide, but off of the hands of Megan Adams. It was going to be out of bounds, creating a goal kick. Now it'll be a corner for Brockton to be taken by Narita Montron. About five minutes into the first half, Brockton with their first corner kick of the game. Montron will try to curve it in towards the net. The kick is fairly short. Back to Lara Andrade, but it's intercepted by Franklin, sent back out to midfield where it rolls out of bounds and Ariane Almeida will throw it in. Time of possession, the key stat thus far in this game. So we have a Franklin substitution. Franklin dominating play in all ends of the field. Taylor Cogliano with a hat trick here tonight, giving Franklin the three to nothing lead. Andrade looking for Sylvia, doesn't connect. Franklin has it. Cogliano out of bounds. Michaela Robinson back to Andrade up for Caruso. Jen Caruso stopping. She's got some room to work with. She sends it into the middle of the field, takes it herself, pops it up where it's going to be kicked long by number 17 for the Franklin Panthers.
Emma Foley doing an excellent job for the Franklin Panthers on the back line tonight. Now Ariana Sylvia sends it long across the field, but nobody was home. It'll be taken by the Franklin Panthers. Inbounds on the line and eventually bouncing out. And sliding down to the turf was Lara Andrade. Michaela Robinson looking for Del Pico who finds herself playing at the forward position. Oh, that's Megan Anderson rather. At the forward position. Trying to spark some Brockton offense. Now Andrade with a missed kick. Keanu Brooks sends it long right to the head of one of the Panthers. Franklin with some room to work with here. Cogliano has it. She's going to look to cross it. And Ariana Almeida with a nice step able to get it out of bounds. But Franklin will have another throw in deep in Brockton territory. About eight minutes into the first half, three to nothing off of goals by Taylor Cogliano. Now Narita Montron heads it up looking for the south pass, doesn't connect, Franklin sends it back the other way. And now out of bounds off of number 26 for the Panthers. That is Megan Georges. Del Pico almost took a cleat to the face. Luckily able to escape without injury and Almeida will send it. Intercepted by number 16 for the Panthers who sends it long into the box and Viola will pick it up without any trouble from the Panthers offense. Good step by number 16 for the Panthers. Victoria Stowell, the junior midfielder. Now Amanda, uh, Ariana Almeida rather will send it long. Looking for Montrand. Brockton's offense kept silent tonight for the first time in recent memories. Jen Crusoe has it now. Looking to spark something on the heel turn. She stops the Franklin pass. And Franklin forced to kick it out of bounds on the far sideline. Very lively, big crowd on hand tonight at Piscini Field as Brockton's gonna call a timeout. About 10 minutes into the second half. Now trailing three to nothing off of a hat trick by Taylor Cogliano and Tori Viola doing all she can to keep the Brockton boxers in this, but you can't score if you don't shoot and Brockton has not had many shot opportunities thus far tonight. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports. We want to take this opportunity to thank our cameraman for tonight's festivities. It's the one, the only, President Dr. P, the Big Tuna, Geppetto to be continued. Patrick Lease, soon to be award winning director and producer, Patrick Lease. It looks a little bit cold on top of the press box here at Piscini Field. If Brockton were to win, they will play Saturday afternoon against either North Quincy or Bridgewater Raynham. The same goes for Franklin, but Franklin would be the higher seed in both of those cases. Brockton would be the lower seed in both of those cases. So Franklin will have another home game if they get past the Brockton boxes tonight, whereas Brockton will be on the road. If Brockton wins, we will have the game for you on BCA Sports, along with the boxer football game at New Bedford. And 
Rita Montron trying to start something for Brockton. It's intercepted by Franklin, but Ariana Silvi makes a nice step to get it to Jen Crusoe. Crusoe trying to do it all herself and not succeeding as Taylor Cogliano, the three-time goal scorer for the Franklin Panthers tonight. Sent up by Tiana Brooks out of bounds. It'll be a Franklin throw-in. Off the head of Lara Andrade out of bounds. Franklin will have a throw in about 20 yards deeper into Brockton territory. Almeida sends it long. Sent back up by Franklin and taken by Sylvia who's run into. Ariana Sylvia gets up very gingerly holding her right hip and Franklin has an opportunity. The shot, a good stab by Tori Viola. But the story on the field now is Ariana Almeida who has run into Ariana Sylvia, rather, who is at midfield, not putting much weight on that right leg as Jen Caruso has it for the Brockton Boxers. Caruso with a nice step, breaking the ankles. Her shot is going to be saved by Megan Adams. Jen Caruso absolutely breaking the ankles of one of the Franklin Panthers, number 17, in fact. And that is Emma Foley. Del Pico goes down hard as Brockton trying to pick up the physicality aspect of this game. And that's really where they've dominated this season. Franklin fans and Brockton fans alike not liking the no call by the officials here. Sent long by the Franklin Panthers. Almeida will take it. Push down a Franklin forward and it'll go out of bounds of Franklin throw in. Now one time shot is gonna go right through the uprights. The field goal is good. The shot attempt is not. It'll be a goal kick for the Brockton Boxers. Fifteen minutes into the first half, uh, the second half rather, three to nothing the score in favor of the Franklin Panthers off of a hat trick by Taylor Cogliano, and defensive breakdowns the story of this game for the Brockton Boxers. Franklin has it, trying to work the big triangle. Brooks sends it long. Weather really cooling off here for the second half. Intensity also cooling off here in the latter moments of this second half. Franklin has it. It's taken by Narita Montron. She's got a lot of room to work with, but she decides to send it long. Jen Crusoe is going to have a breakaway. The ball takes a weird bounce, and Crusoe now double teamed. And Franklin able to clear it out, and Jen Crusoe looks up to the heavens. Franklin really doing an outstanding job of keeping Jen Caruso in check all night. And she's only been able to escape one or two times and Megan Adams has stood on her head. Now Caruso. Double teamed again, stops, goes the other way. Dangling. Crosses for Tiana Brooks. 
Brooks up for Montrond who can't handle the pass and it goes to the feet of the Franklin Panthers. Now Montrond looking to spin. Taken away by the Franklin Panthers as they have done many times tonight. Now number 26 down on the field, slow to get up. Be a Franklin throw at number 25 to take it, waiting for one of her teammates to tie her shoe. Number 21 with the shot picked up by Tori Viola. The only 21 we have listed on our roster is goaltender Megan Adams. As now Franklin has another opportunity on the cross and Amanda, uh, Ariana Almeida rather will send it long. send it long for the Brockton Boxers trying to get something going offensively in the middle of this second half down three goals Lara Andrade in for Caruso Caruso double teamed and it goes out of bounds off of Jen Caruso but Brockton will have a throw in the referee a good 30 or 40 yards away from that play ruling that it's a Brockton Boxer ball. Once again, Lara Andra to throw it in for Brockton. She sends it long to Montrand who is intercepted. Goes back and forth, Lara Andra now gives it up to number 26 and Franklin will have a run. Cogliano in on a semi break. Taylor Cogliano looking for a fourth of the night. Excellent diving save by Tori Viola stopping. The breakaway attempt by Taylor Cogliano looking for her first goal, fourth goal of the night. And Viola charged out of her net and dove on that ball before Cogliano could get a shot off. And uh, Ariana Almeida will send it. <clears throat> Intercepted by Franklin into the hands of Viola yet again. Halfway into the second half, Brockton still trailing three to nothing. Looking for more, as they have an opportunity, the shot, the cross, it's gonna go just wide. Another opportunity for the Franklin Panthers pouring on the offense, as it was Cogliano again trying to get on the other side of a cross, sending it just wide. Brockton, has got to stop the bleeding if they want their season to continue. We're gonna have an offsides ruled against Cogliano of Franklin. But it will be a re-kick. Almeida sends it, looking for Lara Andrade. Reaching with the shot. One hand on it by Tori Viola. The rebound off the shins of Viola. And Brockton able to momentarily get it out of danger. Tori Viola with excellent saves on the initial shot and rebound. But Franklin still threatening. Their ball movement is just completely eluding the Brockton boxes as a long shot is gonna go into the hands of Torre Viola who bobbled it, was able to pick up the rebound and a very excited crowd looking for Franklin's fourth goal of the night. Narita Montrand tries a self pass intercepted by the Panthers. Now Ariana Almeida makes a nice step 
to get that ball back out of danger momentarily. Franklin back the other way. It'll be a Franklin throwing very deep in Brockton territory as Franklin makes a couple of substitutions. Just over halfway into the second half. Three to nothing the score off of a hat trick by Taylor Cogliano. Brockton trying to carry the momentum from a 3-2 overtime win against Braintree on Monday night here into the second round of the MIAA South sectional playoffs, but for the most part getting absolutely shut down and dominated by the Franklin Panthers. Franklin going undefeated in the regular season, and we're seeing a very good reason why tonight as their defense has shut down the Brockton Boxers offense and they've dominated the midfield to get the ball up to Taylor Cogliano three times almost getting another goal off of the free kick but it hit the crossbar and went out very cold night now here in Franklin, Massachusetts. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports as Jen Caruso takes it for the Brockton Boxers. She gets around the defender. Stops. Looks up and it's intercepted by the Franklin back line. And Jen Caruso is frustrated to say the absolute least with the opportunity she's been given tonight as Del Pico now up for Megan Anderson who spins has to chase it down to keep it in bounds that's out of bounds off of Franklin it'll be a Brockton corner kick and the first opportunity of the second half for the Brockton boxes Jen Caruso is going to take this and try to curve it right in to the back of the net Montron Almeida Brockton sending Seven people into the box. With only Tiana Brooks left back to defend the Brockton goal. Crusoe's kick into the box. It's loose. The shot by Montron is blocked by the legs of one of the Panthers and Franklin able to clear it out. Texera now on the far side is intercepted by the Panthers and that has been the main story of this Franklin defensive line tonight, able to intercept most, if not all, of the Brockton boxers' passes trying to find John Caruso. As Narita Montron takes it now, crosses into the middle of the field, looks up, trying to find Anderson, intercepted yet again by the Panthers' back line. We're gonna have a free kick for Franklin off of a Dangerous play by Maria Del Pico. Jen Caruso trying to extend her senior season here for Brockton High. We've got bodies flying everywhere. It's gonna be another penalty on Maria Del Pico and another Franklin free kick from the 44 and a half yard line of the football markings to be taken by Lauren Rudolph. Rudolph long into the box to the feet of Almeida. Sent back the other way and Viola able to catch it to make a very nice save on a lob shot from about 45 yards out. Now Viola sends it very short for Lara Andrade who can't get a foot on it and it goes out of bounds. A messy turnover by the Brockton Boxers Cross attempt is going to go all the way through the crease and out of bounds it'll be a Brockton free kick, uh, goal kick rather. As Jen Caruso hands on her hips standing at about midfield trying to get something going. This may very well be the last game of her high school career 
as the Brockton Boxers trail the Franklin Panthers by a score of three to nothing. Just under 14 minutes remaining here in the second half and possibly on the Brockton Boxer season. Brockton with a lot of young players looking forward to next year, but they will lose both Narita Montrand and Jen Caruso to graduation this year. Those are easily the two biggest parts of this Brockton Boxers team. It's another notable absence for the Brockton Boxers on the field for the second half is senior defenseman Elizabeth Buckley. Now Cogliano rushing ahead. She's got a breakaway. Her shot deflected and Tiana Brooks able to clear it out. Tori Viola making a very nice diving save. And another lob shot goes to the head of Ariana Almeida Franklin, pouring on the opportunities in the last 30 seconds. Viola will pick this one up. Franklin doing an excellent job to make sure they were not offsides. Cogliano doing the majority of the Franklin Panthers offense here tonight, scoring all three of the Franklin goals and almost adding another two. Now a shot through the football uprights. Ariane Almeida was in a, a grudge match with one of the Panthers on the far side of the field. The referee not calling anything, and it'll be a Brockton free uh, goal kick. Almeida sends it long for the boxers. It'll be a free kick for Brockton with about 10 minutes remaining here in the second half. Brockton trailing three to nothing behind the second seeded Franklin Panthers. Now Cogliano turning on the Jets trying to get her fourth goal and Tiana Brooks will send it out of bounds. It'll be a Franklin throw. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Franklin High School, Passini Field here in Franklin, Massachusetts for the second round of the MIAA South Sectional playoff between the Franklin Panthers and your Brockton Boxes. Brockton trailing three to nothing. And another shot is gonna go high and wide. Franklin pouring on the offense here in the second half. Brockton being shut down by the Franklin back line. You all know the saying, good defense leads to good offense. And that is what Franklin has done tonight as Ariana Almeida will send it long for the Brockton Boxers. Montron sticks a leg up, but Franklin able to escape. Number six has it for the Panthers, gets it back to number 14. Del Pico tries to make a step and Cogliano just missed the pass. It's sent up by Lara Andrade. Franklin intercepts yet again. Now Jen Caruso back to Montrand. It doesn't connect. And Franklin will have it again. Lara Andrade and Narita Montrand collided with each other, both yelling at each other that it was the other's fault. And Tori Viola will pick this ball up. Jen Caruso looking to start something. She's held up. No whistle. She gets it up to Montron. Montron can't control the pass 100%. It goes out of bounds off of Franklin. 
uh, off of Brockton, rather. And Franklin will make a substitution. Taylor Cogliano, who has scored all three of Franklin's goals, making her way to the bench for a breather with just under 10 minutes remaining here in regulation time. Out of bounds off of number six for Franklin, uh, off of Nerita Montron, rather, the referee signaling that it was Brockton's ball. And we have a dangerous play called by the referee, and that will be a free kick in excellent position to be taken by Lauren Rudolph about 35 yards out. A direct kick. Goes a little bit wide. Tiana Brooks able to get ahead on it and send it out of immediate danger, but a one-time shot. It's loose in the box. That's another Franklin goal with a pig pile in the net. As Tori Viola is down and very slowly getting to her feet was Ariana Almeida. Four to nothing the score. The Franklin was scored by number six, Emily Spath. Number six scoring the goal, Emily Spath. Four to nothing the score, Brockton very dejectedly Lining up at midfield to play this ball. Tori Viola got run over by Spath on that play and the ball ended up in the back of the net. She got up very gingerly and still standing favoring her right side is Tori Viola. Now Lara Andrade sends it back across midfield looking for Caruso. Caruso absolutely pushing Spath and the crowd calling for a card. They won't get one, but Jen Caruso very, very frustrated with her team's performance here tonight. Narita Montron with some room. She pops it up looking for Caruso and it will go into the hands of Megan Adams. Brockton getting very chippy on the field to play right now. And we're gonna have a whistle on Ariana Sylvia. Short kick by the Panthers. Intercepted by Narita Montron who makes a nice move to create some space. Sends it long for Jen Caruso who wasn't in the right place at the right time, and Franklin intercepts. Del Pico oversteps it, and now Speth, the latest goal scorer for the Franklin Panthers, has it. Speth up to number 14, who tries to spend, send it back to Speth. It goes out of bounds off of Franklin. Brockton now making a couple of substitutions. Megan Anderson making her way to the bench. She'll be replaced by Jamari Johnson, whose name we haven't heard called in the last couple of games. And Lara Andrade in favor of Amanda Almeida. Of course, Amanda Almeida famous for the inbounding flip, where she uses the point of contact as the ball with the ground and does a head over heels flip to throw it in bounds, gaining a lot of momentum. So head coach Admir De Silva clearly not pleased with his team's performance, sending in Jamari Johnson to replace Megan Anderson, trying to spark some late offense here. Also not on the field at the moment is number 10, Narita Montron. Megan Anderson is on the field, so Jamari Johnson replacing Narita Montron. And 
Coach De Silva trying to spark some offense going with the duo of Jen Caruso and Jamari Johnson. Caruso has it now. Makes a very nice move to get around the defender. Tries it again. And her cross is going to be pretty effortlessly sent out of bounds by Franklin. It'll be a Brockton throw. No flip for Amanda Alameda this time. Crusoe with a good heel turn, able to get the ball out of bounds off of Franklin. And you can see the frustration in Jen Crusoe. She took that ball and slammed it into the turf field here at Pacini Field. Sylvia in the box, looking for Johnson. Maria Del Pico kind of oversteps it a little bit. And it's sent out of bounds off of Franklin. Amanda Almeida will try the flip. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see it here in round two of the playoffs. She's down, she's up. The Franklin crowd is astounded that she just did a flip using the ball as a point of contact with the ground. But the ball going back to the Franklin Panthers. Tiana Brooks sends it long. All the way back to Franklin's back line who's going to waste some time off the clock. Ariana Almeida now sends it back across midfield. About two minutes remaining here in regulation time. Three to nothing the score. Franklin on top of the Brockton boxes off of a hat trick by Taylor Cogliano and another goal by Emily Smith. Four to nothing the score in the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. Brockton trying desperately to extend their season. Mackenzie O'Reilly kicks it a little bit too long on the self pass. Jen Crusoe hands on hips standing at the Franklin 39 yard line. Not at all pleased with the Brockton performance tonight. Down four to nothing. At least looking to get one on the board so they can say that they were not shut out. Ariana Silvia for Amanda Almeida. It's gonna be kicked out of bounds by Emily Spath. A Franklin throw and Spath pretty Pretty obviously pushed it out of bounds and we're gonna have a free kick for the Franklin Panthers as the referee talking with Amanda Almeida. No card but Lauren Rudolph will have a free kick at the 13 yard line of the Brockton Boxers. We'll see a direct kick, a wall of three ladies for the Brockton Boxers. Rudolph weighing her options. Under two minutes to go. The kick, the shot, punched up and out of bounds by freshman goalkeeper Tori Viola. And it will be a Franklin corner kick. An excellent save on the direct kick for Tori Viola. And Franklin will have a corner kick with about 10 seconds to go in regulation. One last shot for Franklin. It's deflected by Del Pico. A one-time shot caught by Viola. And she will send it long. Four to nothing to score. Franklin on top of Brockton. As Viola sends it long. Now Tiana Brooks sends it out of bounds. And it'll be a Franklin throw in. Not much time here at all left in regulation time at Franklin High School as Mackenzie O'Reilly sends it up looking for Jamari Johnson. Franklin spends it all the way back to Tiana Brooks. And Amanda Almeida able to get it out now. Marie Del Pico with some room to run on the near sideline is just going to effortlessly kick it up and out of bounds to Franklin.
Franklin just playing a game of keep away now. Tiana Brooks up for Mackenzie O'Reilly. Intercepted by Franklin. This has been the story all night. Franklin with one last opportunity to cross into the box. The shot high through the football uprights. It'll be a goal kick. Not much time here at all as Brockton will have one last goal kick to be taken by Ariana Almeida. She sends it long. Lauren Rudolph, who has been a very strong player tonight for the Franklin Panthers. Now Brooks sends it back to midfield. And it's out of bounds off of Brockton will be a Franklin throw-in. There's going to be about two seconds left in this game. The referee is clearly not paying attention to their watches, if they even remember to, to set them. The scoreboard here at Cassini Field is having technical difficulties tonight. So there's no unofficial time to look at as Amanda Almeida will take the throw-in for Brockton. Jen Caruso with a hail turn. Out of bounds off of Franklin. It'll be a Brockton throwing. Almeida to Caruso. Caruso realizing that there's no hope, not even trying to get up to have an offensive opportunity. And the whistle sounds on the game and the Brockton boxer season. The number two seeded Franklin Panthers will move on to face Bridgewater Raynham or North Quincy. And Brockton is shut out on the road. For the first time this season, their offense held in check and the Lady Boxers' promising season has come to a devastating end here tonight at Franklin High School. The final score here from Piscini Field on the campus of Franklin High School. The Panthers taking the big win, four to nothing over your Brockton Boxers. An excellent season put together by the Brockton Boxers just drew a tough matchup here in the MIAA playoffs and not coming away with a victory are the boxers. So the final once again here from Piscini Field. Four to nothing, the Franklin Panthers take it over the Brockton boxers. For everyone here at BCA Sports, our cameraman Patrick Lease, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson. We will see you next season.